Trying to figure out what this alien world might look like has become an obsession for planetary scientist Dr. Ralph Lorenz. Having spent 15 years piecing together all the available information on Titan, he believes it is a world that shares many features with our own. But on this distant moon, things are also very different. Titan is so cold that methane, which is a gas on Earth, can condense into a liquid. So uh, there is this possibility of lakes, rivers, and streams on Titan, much as there is on Earth with water. So same process, just uh, different working fluid. Similarly, water, which is a liquid on Earth for the most part, is, is frozen as hard as rock on Titan. And so the uh, landforms may be very similar, but the um, makeup is very different. In Titan's orange sky, the liquid methane might also form clouds and produce rain, but not as we know it. Rain on Titan um, might be made of drops that are maybe twice as big as, as raindrops on Earth. Uh, and on Titan, with its thick atmosphere and its low gravity, even these large raindrops would fall maybe six or ten times slower than raindrops do on Earth, more like uh, big snowflakes do on the Earth. For Ralph and the other Huygens scientists, the time for predictions was drawing to a close. Soon they hoped to have their first true view of Titan's surface. Christmas Day 2004. From Pasadena, California, the command was given to release Huygens. Three explosive bolts fired, and the probe was pushed away from Cassini. Sent drifting unpowered in the direction of Titan, it would be another 20 days wait before Huygens finally reached its target. 